Uh, well, your previous album, 12 Memories, I heard someone saying it was a therapy session, the whole album. 12 Memories, I was listening to it the other night. It's a weird one because you've got this thing on albums that tip, there's a tipping point and either it tips in its favour or it tips against it as far as critically or whatever, as, as far as people go, oh, well, that, that, was, that wasn't a good record or that was a good record. To be honest, I don't think we make bad records. If you, if you get to this level, we're very, very conscientious about you know, what we do. I listened to 12 Memories the other day and I, I would all, you know, I'd almost begun to believe you know, that this album wasn't really, you know, it was okay. But because it's not successful as in sales-wise, you kind of forget that it's actually... There's a record there, and it's a gem to be discovered by people. So it's fantastic. I listened to it last night, and I was like, wow, it sounds amazing. And it's just like, it's very different for us, that record, than it was a therapy session, but I think it was probably, I think when, you, when, it, when, it, when, when we're finished in 67 years' time, when we're 110 years old, mm -hmm. that's when we're going to finish. Yeah. When we look back on it, I think that album will be seen as being one of the this kind of hidden gem things. It was one of those records that seemed to pull people in that hadn't liked the band before. Yeah. And it seemed to alienate some people who had liked the band before. So obviously it, it, it was doing something, you know, and it was doing something right and maybe it was doing something wrong. But I think we, we, oh. all, we all stand by it and I think it's a, it's a good record. If you don't like Travis, you know, if you don't like you know, what it is that we do, you know, like pop, Thing, you know mm -hmm. that record all the people who came up to me about that record were like the first thing they always said without doubt was always I never really liked you before but this record is just amazing but why what did it tell you what what did they like about that album what they liked about the album I think was the fact that um, it moved away it was it was more angular I think the the uh, it was a very personal record and, and I think the, the way the songs were written was different. Um, it was, the melody structure was completely different than it is now. And it was produced by Chad Blake. Chad Blake makes a certain type of record. You know. But how come the stru structure of the song was different? Then? Was it done on purpose? Mm, no, no, it was just mm. like, uh, like I, was, I was writing songs, for instance, like The Beautiful Occupation, which started out as a riff. That went and then I got a drum beat that went over the top of it, and then I wrote a song on top of that, and then I put chords on it, and then eventually I wrote a song on top of that. Now that's not usually the way I would do it. I usually start just with an acoustic guitar and vocals, and that's the way I always start. And and so a lot of that album was written in that way. The new album. 12 Memories is like a bit of both, you know, mm. there's a bit of that and there's a bit of the old school sitting at the end of your bed, yeah. singing to your knees. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's interesting, you know, our, our sort of, the path that we've taken as a band has been, we, we're not, we sold millions and millions of records, but we're not about that, we're about trying to make Whatever it is that we're making, we, we, we don't think too much about it. It just comes out that way. To, to, to sit here and try and explain it is pointless because there was no um, reason. No, there's never, there's never really a plan okay. as yeah. such when you're going. So it's not like we kind of decided, right, we're going to make a dark record that more kind of constructed songs rather than written songs. Da, da, da. It's always just the way it happens. Yeah. And kind of, you know. We, with this new record, for instance, we recorded like 40 odd songs, and so we could have made a completely different <coughs> record, released a completely different record. You know, it could have been, you know, t t 11 or 12 totally different songs, but it just, it's, whatever kind of feels right, just we allow it to, it's about allowing that to happen rather than trying to force anything or kind of force your hand too much.